Hi everyone, this is Karen. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take some glitter backgrounds and apply them to text or images in Silhouette Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is in the Silhouette SD and Cameo users group, I went into the file section just by clicking files and you'll see there's a great big long list of files here of all types. There are cutting files and there are also documents. So to be able to search this, I scroll down to the very bottom of the list. When you can't go any further, you know that you're at the bottom. So at that point, I'm going to press Command F for find. It would be Control F on a PC. I'm going to type in the word glitter. And right here is the file that I uploaded some time ago. It's called Glitter Backgrounds Zip. So I'm going to click that file and I'm going to save it into my temp folder. It's called Glitter Backgrounds so that I don't forget when I'm looking for it. And on a Mac computer using Chrome, once you have it down here and it has finished downloading, all I need to do is click it and it's going to unzip it for me and display the contents of the file. And you'll see over here, there are a whole bunch of different glitter backgrounds. So those are the files I'm going to bring into Silhouette Studio to have as patterns. So in Silhouette Studio, I'm going to go into my library and I'm going to click the patterns tab over here. You'll see I have just a handful in here. I'm going to go back to where I saved my files. I'm going to come over here to where I've got the glitter backgrounds. I'm going to select the individual files. I'm going to scrolling down to the very bottom of the list and selecting all of them. Then I'm going to select those and drag them into my patterns folder. And you see it's adding them. Remember that you need to have the designer edition to be able to do this. So there, it has done all of that. And now you can see I've got all of these patterns in here, these glitter patterns, glitter background patterns. So I'm going to close the library. I'm going to type some text. So for this to be a little bit more striking, I'm going to choose another font. Let's see this one. I'm going to do some adjustments though to make it more visible. Okay, so I'm going to come up to my modify window. I'm going to click weld to weld all those letters together. And after doing that, I'm going to click the offset window. And I'm going to do and choose offset, but it's going to be much smaller than that. It's just going to be a hairline just to thicken the font a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to pull away the inside of those letters. And you'll see what's left is the thicker part. So then I'm going to draw a rectangle around all of these and delete them. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to click the pattern icon up here on the toolbar. It's going to display all of the patterns that I have in my library. I just need to scroll down to find my glitter backgrounds. Let's see. There they are. So I'm going to use this bright red background. And now you'll see that the glitter has been applied to my letters. If you want to change the scale of the glitter, you can do that by clicking the advanced options over here. And there's a scale pattern slider over here so that you can make it smaller or larger. And I'm going to show you that so that it's a little bit easier to see. I'm going to group all of this. And I'm going to make this quite a bit larger. Just so it's easier to see the scaling. OK, 
Okay, so that's selected. And here I'm going to change the scale of the pattern. When I bring it very small, you see that there's very fine glitter. And as I move it up, it becomes coarser looking. And you can do that for any pattern. You can apply any pattern you want. Any glitter pattern. I've got different backgrounds for, I've got different patterns in here for cardstock. as well as the patterns that are supplied with the program. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.